In this video, I'll show you how to use beast mode calculations to group data into buckets. As you can see here, I've got far too many items in the series, and I want to group these into smaller buckets to make analysis easier. First thing we'll do is click on Add Calculated Field. Then, we'll give our beast mode a name. We'll be using a case statement to group the data into buckets. Every case statement starts with case when. Now, the first group we want to create is where days to complete is less than or equal to 7. We'll call that one week. We then repeat and create a when statement for all the buckets we want to create. In this example, when days to complete is less than or equal to 14, then it will be two weeks. When days to complete is less than or equal to 21, then three. Now, You'll notice I'm doing these incrementally. If something is less than 7, it's obviously less than 14. The way this logic works is once one criteria is met, it stops for that record and doesn't look further down the statement. To catch any values that don't fall into 1, 2, or 3 weeks, we'll add an else statement and call those 3 plus weeks. We'll then end the case statement, validate, save, and close the formula. I can now drop my new column to the series, and we now have our orders by month grouped into buckets that we can more easily use. Another common reason for creating groups or buckets are to create filters. So I'll grab my new calculated column, add a filter, and say we only want to see three week and three plus week order completion times. And now we've used a beast mode to bucket data, and then we filtered off those buckets to only show three week and three plus week completion times. Case statements are very powerful and can allow you to quickly and easily categorize, group, bucket, or flag records in your data for filtering or grouping your visualizations. And that's how you use beast mode to group data into buckets.